Let's relive the North London Derby together through the bench cam. Uh, let's go. All right, so I have the uh, bench cam here loaded up. Bench cam, Tottenham Hotspur versus Arsenal, 0-2. to two, All the reaction celebrations from the NLD. So let's relive it together. Haven't watched this. I'm pretty pumped. <laughs> I love the double fist. Okay. Right off the bat, as soon as the camera went to the tunnel cam and these uh, these pink jackets showed up, I went directly to the website while they were walking out and I bought the jacket and the sweatshirt. So heads up, I will be doing a review of both the pink zip up jacket and the hoodie uh, that comes with kind of this series because I am all about it. Look at that down the spine. I love it. The guy's hat say boss? It certainly does. Is <laughs> Charleston is always angry. Good lord. And dude acted a fool at the end of the game. This is a great little flick. Totally inventive. Oh, Eddie. Even if it would have got past Larice, I'm not sure it wouldn't have gotten blocked off the line there. He would have had to hit it with a lot of pace. Because it was a tough finish. What? Yover gets up every time we have a free kick. I love it. He's so into it. He's like, it's my time to shine. I'm responsible. Charleston, relax. Great through ball. Saka's always stretching. Always stretching. I'll show him down his right. <laughs> Calamity. Arteta couldn't even believe it. A little basketball celebration there. Who are you yelling at, Loris? Hold up the mirror, homie. Arteta can't believe it. A little Saliba direction here. Okay. He had a great game. Saliba played great. He's back to uh, back to pre World Cup. It looked like. Always giving direction. Always giving direction. So was Arteta cold? Because Conte looked like he just had like a sweatshirt on, or a sweater, I should say. Offsides. Was it offsides? Flag didn't go up. That's a great save by Ramsdale, though. A couple saves from Ramsdale, let's, let's be honest. Oof. Ping that one. Ping that one. You think uh, Lloris would have would have learned after the after a couple uh from motor guard. Constant. I mean, he literally the way he can read the game. That little that little touch was ridiculous. <laughs> after that hit, I mean, the whole crowd, like if you look at the crowd, like guy, you know, hands, look it up in the left hand corner, right? Guy over his mouth, <laughs> the guy with both hands over his eyes. You got the guy who's like, what just happened? And then two other people are like, this is unbelievable. I mean, just look at all the reactions in the crowd right now. The top right corner, the kid in the green jacket. I was literally screaming in my own house standing up. And if that would have went in, I mean, goal of the season, that that was an unbelievable strike. And the way it thud. <laughs> uh, par party's got it dialed in. I mean, look at the reactions now, right? It's everybody's looking at each other going. If that one went in, game over. Destroyed. Done. This game would have been like 5 nothing. And now they're getting angry again. <laughs> they're getting absolutely smacked. There were so many moments in this game, you know, just watching content through the week and listening to podcasts about the game and like the Ben White scream, 
you know, the Ramsdale save. Obviously, the shenanigans after the game was just ridiculous, but that was, party's so good. This is it. Party started both goals. Question. Comment down below. Should Lloris have done better on that one? Like, the first one's obvious. Second one, I've heard both sides of the debate. It was a great strike. It was in the corner. It wasn't that in the corner. Lloris should have... Uh, he probably scooted to the right, right? Because he thought he was going to play Martinelli on the outside. Uh, what are your thoughts? Put them down below. I thought it was both. I think it was a, it was a decent, I think it was a pretty good strike. Uh, and Odegaard's just so, you never know what he's going to do. He makes tiny movements just to get that little bit of, a uh, little bit of space. Head and hands. Head and hands. I love watching behind Arteta. They're so angry. Yeah, this was. Look at look at Gabriel just getting up screaming as Zinchenko. Looks like the bench was pretty upset as well. We got any afters there? No, we're good. Three to half time. Coming back out. I know I've seen a lot of people say, you know, Spurs play so much better in the second half. Look, what is Richarlison do? Why is he that close to the field? Chill out, dude. Dude, it irritates us. You know what out of me. That's dangerous. Great save by Ramsdale. You read that perfectly. I'm trying to watch both here. What? Screaming behind him. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. It's the Ben White's the master of shithousery. Oh. A great touch, Eddie. Oh. He got more whip on that. Like, I got what he, he was trying to go, you know, outside corner and curl it back in. He just didn't get enough whip, whip on it. The way Odegaard processes the game, too. Just, like, everything Arteta's looking for. I love it. Great D. Great sub. Love this sub, actually. Tierney's unpredictable. He likes going down the lane. He's super aggressive on, on the press. And just giving Zinchenko that extra cover. Yeah, I love that sub. I thought Martinelli had a decent game. A lot of people gave him some slack, but, you know... He, I saw a stat today that he has the most successful take-ons in the league. Like 48% or something like that. Massive. That is so intense. I said this in one of my other reaction videos. Like, when he pets a puppy, it's got to be intense, right? It's like on the cusp of being overly aggressive. Oh, great D, party. Great D. Incredible game by Zinchenko. What a player. What a pickup. For what, 35 mil? Steal. Him and Jesus were both steals. If you look at the market and how Chelsea's being ridiculous right now. What are your thoughts on Hoiberg's uh, antics right before halftime on the penalty? I mean, ridiculous. Can't wait till ESR gets back to, get back to full fitness. We've missed his goals tremendously. Odegaard, incredible game again. Well done, well done. <laughs> Still a light bench. We need we need we need a couple couple buys. I don't I don't know if we're gonna find him in January though, to be fair. celebration so a couple things uh, everybody's seen the meme where he's pulling ramsdale away and then he sees jacka and <laughs> the moment he sees jacka he starts running towards him i get it uh, the afters were really disappointing where charleston was really disappointing and anybody's getting upset about what ramsdale does that every other player in in the league does i think is ridiculous uh it was disgraceful what the one guy did obviously he's gonna be banned from the stadium um yeah 
just to touch on all that. I thought it was absurd that we're even being, getting called into the conversation. Eddie had a great game. You can see it there, how much he appreciated what Eddie did, the work. Not gonna lie, I love the scarf, Martinelli. Well done. Anybody who says we're celebrating too much, we haven't won here since 2014. And it's our rival. Like, get over it. Who's putting that on their wall? Who's putting that on their wall? What an incredible picture. You can see why they do what they do for him. I mean, he, he's intense. He's intentional. He's focused. He demands a lot, but he appreciates so much when you do the little things because he's just trying to make you better. He's an incredible manager. Incredible man manager as well. Scarf, of course, makes it in, right? Goalie coach with Ramsdale. Loved it. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you loved it and the North London Derby as much as I did. Let me know down below on the questions I ask. How nervous were you before the game? How nervous are you about this weekend? Is a big question. Big game again. Man United. I love this team. We'll catch you in the next one.